the TNT ICD is the latest generation of appliance tester from Wavecon. Offering an easy-to-use portable appliance testing system and a long-lasting battery, the TNT ICD is the cutting edge in appliance testing technology. In this video we will demonstrate how to test residual current devices with the TNT ICD. With the latest firmware updates, the TNT ICD can test all portable ICDs without an isolation transformer. For this method, you will need the orange IEC 550 lead and the IEC power cable. Plug the orange IEC 550 cable into the portable ICD and if the ICD has a switch, switch on that outlet. Remember to test each outlet of your ICD. Plug in the portable ICD into the appliance test socket of the TNT ICD. Then plug in the orange IEC 550 cable into the IEC earth return. Plug in the TNT ICD power cable into the IEC socket on the rear of your tester. Finally, plug the power cable into a GPO and switch it on. Check that the portable ICD is active by flipping the ICD switch to on. When testing this kind of portable ICD, you will need to turn portable ICD testing on. We will cover this later on in the video. If the previous method fails or you have an older firmware version, you can test portable ICDs using the inline method. For this, you will need the TNT ICD power cable, a Wavecom isolation transformer and the isolation transformer power cable. Connect the TNT ICD power cable to the IEC port on the rear of the tester. Then plug in the TNT ICD power cable to the portable ICD. Plug in the portable ICD to the isolation transformer. Then plug in the second power cable into the IEC port on the rear of the isolation transformer. And finally plug in the power cable into a GPO and switch the GPO on. Don't forget to turn the isolation transformer on as well. Check that the portable ICD is active by flipping the ICD switch to on or pressing the reset button. When testing this kind of portable ICD, you will need to turn portable ICD testing off. We will cover this later on in the video. Let's move on to testing portable ICDs. We'll start with a ramp current test. First, we conduct our visual inspection and determine what type of ICD we have. This example is a type 2 portable ICD. Set up your test leads. In this example, we are using the updated test method. If in doubt, consult your TNT RCD user manual. Navigate to main menu by using the enter button. Then press F3 to enter the RCD menu. Then press F2 to select ramp test. Press F2 to set the RCD type. We are testing a type 2 RCD in this example, so we press F3. You will then be prompted to enable or disable portable RCD testing. As we are using the updated test method, we will need to press F3 to enable portable RCD testing. Now we can press F3 to begin our test. The current is steadily increased until the RCD trips. When the test is complete, your results will appear on screen. Let's try a trip time test now. Conduct the visual inspection and identify the RCD type. Set up the test leads. In this example, we are going to use the inline method. Navigate to main menu by using the enter button. Then press F3 to enter the RCD menu. Then press F1 to select trip time test. Press F3 to enter the RCD settings menu. Here, you can set the trip current by pressing F2. When testing trip times, you can adjust the test current in 1 milliamp increments. Press F3 to confirm your test current. As in the previous example, you can set the RCD type by pressing F3. In this example, we are testing a type 2 RCD, so we will press F3. Then, because we are using the inline test method, we will turn portable RCD testing off. Press Enter to disable portable RCD testing. 
you will need to measure both phases of the ICD to fully complete a trip time test. Press F1 to select zero degree phase, then set the ICD multiplier. You can test your ICD trip time at the stated current, 30 milliamps in this example, or at five times the stated current, 150 milliamps. Now we can press F3 to begin our test. The TNT ICD will send the selected current to the portable ICD and measure the trip time. When the test is complete, your results will appear on screen. Repeat the test for the opposite phase, using the same settings to ensure consistent results. If your ICD does not pass the trip time test on both phases, it has failed and should be removed from service. That completes our guide for testing portable ICDs with the TNT ICD. To learn more about the TNT RCD, visit our website www.wavecom.com.au.